I might actually have it over there at the where I'm actually doing work today. Filing. Yeah. I don't hey. Know. Oh. Hey. So we're live. Hey everybody, this is Matt. And we're at Texas Toast Guitars. This is a new reveal, huh, Chris? It is. Why is that? Well, there's been so many videos that get made, and we just didn't have anything new to show you that's a guitar. And so uh, we've been wanting to do more live videos, but we kind of we had a bit of a snowstorm this week, so we didn't get to do all the live stuff that we thought about doing. Well, you you came in on Wednesday, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but then but then we we didn't do a whole lot yesterday because of snow. I bought into the hype on the snowstorm eh. and didn't come in when I probably should have. And I certainly could have. Well, but you know what though? I think it got lousy as the day went Yeah, on. I think so. And I, I'd been working awfully hard the weeks before. So. <laughs> I know. I know. And... And I worked awfully hard today. Yeah, and I think that the the next the coming days will be will be busy busy days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because we got a lot of paint work to do, and we got a lot of paint work done. We're yeah. we're kind of playing catch up on. So now we've painted a bunch of stuff, but we still got to put a bunch of stuff together because oh, yeah. that's what you do after paint. Mm -hmm. And we just didn't have anything new to reveal. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And when we do reveals of stuff we've had in the past, I don't think we're as jazzed about it as some of the newer stuff yeah it could be a little could bit be. yeah because we we've already we, we know it we already know yeah. it. so so there there's some new guitar reveals coming soon shortly but today we're going to talk about um some of our favorite tools because uh this is the file edition i don't know how long this video is going to go it might go long um a couple of people have asked me to start the tools you ought to have series again because mm -hmm. i did one and it was like i did like 50 through 49 or something and and i just kind of ran out of steam and i never got back through 49 I, well I, I did whatever it was <laughs> did I, two tools <laughs> saw and a pencil <laughs> and i i never made the other four videos there were supposed to be 50 tools you need if you're going to build guitars and i wasn't quite sure like what the 50 were so i started well the first one's easy because yeah. you don't have to narrow it down you can just you know throw a bunch of stuff out there the bpr the bpr the beloved pin router. actually the pin router wasn't on was not, not it was specifically not going to be on the list actually oh it was stuff that you need <clears throat> to build guitars not me yeah so i already know what i need yeah we could start that again we could do yeah we could do some live stuff that way okay do a couple tools at a time, maybe. There's a live yeah. thing. I don't know. And we can't read any comments because I forgot my iPad and we're doing it on my phone. So and everything's really small. We might be able I'm gonna to read something. one. Billy B and Blue says he got the wicked woman stealer today. Uh -huh. So everybody who was like, oh man, send that to me. I want that guitar. Neener, neener, neener. Billy B and Blue's got it. And he's rocking it. And Good. yeah. So that was a cool, cool guitar. So you actually own a piece of Texas Toast history. Um, I, if that's cool to you, I, I think it's cool. Um, I think other people might think it's cool too. So anyway, that's a Gray Street guitar. Is that a it, pre Gray Street it guitar? It might even be a it, little bit. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe. Yeah, I think it is a pre Gray Street guitar. So anyway, cool. Okay, so guys, what we're talking about today is files. Because files are one of the more versatile tools that you should have a lot of. And the cool, you know what, you know what is, okay, His, uh, this, is, this is a trivia question for you, Chris. Uh-huh. What separates files from other cutting tools that you can buy, like chisels and, 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 uh, draw knives and and stuff like that. So like if you're gonna make a neck and you're gonna use this file um, What is different about this than if you were gonna make a neck and you were gonna use um, a spoke shave? Give up yeah, this comes out of the box ready to go You don't have to sharpen this you do have to sharpen a spoke shave or a chisel. And anybody who tells me... I've never used a spoke shave. Yeah, you know why? Because they suck. <laughs> They're stupid, and I hate them. And I barely used a chisel. I've used a chisel 
as a screwdriver. Yeah. I've also used a screwdriver, screwdriver as, as a chisel. chisel. Anyone who tells me that the spoke shave is their favorite tool to carve necks with hasn't carved very many necks because you have to sharpen those fucking things over and over and over again. So anyway, nope. um, so we're going to talk today about files and um, uh, Chris and I are going to talk about some of our, some of the files that we use all the time. And then we're going to talk about our favorite files. Um, Chris has one and I have one and it's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, so how's everybody doing on the quarantine? Is anybody self quarantining? Uh, stuff like that? I don't know. I do a pretty good job of self quarantining all the time. Mm -hmm. So our lives I mean, aren't really that of, different. Yeah, than... Short of seeing you. Yeah. And occasionally a few other people around here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. good to go. Zumba is still going on. Still you can still Zumba yeah. if you want. I don't know for how long, but you can still Zumba. Um, okay, so let's. Uh, we'll, 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 we're going to touch on that. I think that'd be a good topic for Sundays because it's timely. What are you doing during the quarantine? Yeah, and plus then we'll have some ways to read what we're doing. Yeah, quarantine That'd be a good live thing to put stream. Put out to the uh, yeah, okay, the Patreon members. Yeah, what are you guys too. doing for? Are you are you quarantined? Are you quarantined? What what do you, what steps are you taking? Have you had a quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> have you had a quarantine yet? Uh, no. I don't know what's in one, but uh, it's just a martini all by yourself. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about files. Um. As we already discussed, files and rasps uh, have the advantage of being ready to go when you buy them. This one is a dragon file that I got from Stu Mac, I think, or maybe I got this off of because I don't. There's nothing. There's nothing Stu Mac-y about this. Like it doesn't say. It doesn't have the red handle with the black tip that says Stu Mac on it. So maybe I didn't get this from Stu Mac. I don't remember, or maybe I got it from them so long ago that. It was before they put the, the logo thing on it. This is a tool that I use a lot. Um, this is uh, this is definitely a Stumac file. Um, this is a Dragon Rasp, I think, or or a kind of like razor razor file. And here's the little the little version of that. These are pretty good. Have you ever used these? Um, I've used the little one occasionally. The little guy. Okay. Yeah, remove a bunch of material fast. <laughs> And I don't it, have time to waste on smaller files. I ain't got time to bleed. Yep. If you come to the um, uh, one of the guitar build your own guitar classes, you'll use one of uh, this file. Will be on the bench for you to use. And there's there's a bunch of these. They're really aggressive, just a heavy duty rasp. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes, et cetera, et cetera. Why don't you tell us about some of the little ones that you got over here, Chris? Some of the little ones? Um, some of the more specific uh, types. So we have a whole fleet of nut files, and each one has two string gauges on it. This one's a 36 and a 42. You know, each side's got a different cutting. So let me stop you. You have uh -huh. you have a set of files for nuts uh -huh. that are different than that. Yeah, what, they're single sided. Which ones sided. do you like the best? Um, I like them both for different reasons. I, well, so originally I liked mine better just because that's what I got used to. Sure. Um, but I I do like these quite a bit. Um, I like them because they're they're bigger, they're more the, more stable. The other ones you have don't really have a handle as no. much as they're just all they're just, fire. They're right? all cutting blade and okay. they they're not thick. The the thin ones you know like the 10 and the 12 and the 15 aren't they're they're kind of flexy so you see guys they they're thick in the center and then they 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 go down to the um to the the gauge of string mm -hmm. that anyway yeah um yeah so i like i like i like i can use both now um, okay these are really nice because they have i don't think i've ever used the sides. other set that yeah. you that you have You'd or maybe them. i oh really <laughs> well just because you're so used to yeah these. it's just like yeah. i didn't love these at first either. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think, well, and I think these are kind of top of the line, you know? I don't think you can do a whole lot better in the world of, of fret or nut files. The problem is these. that they say Stu Mac and someone will go, oh, those are way too expensive. They are expensive, but how long have you had these? <laughs> a long, you had these before I, long I got here. time. Yeah. And I think, and I they think. They all looked exactly the same. They yeah. They worn out since then. No, well, you're cutting bone and yeah. plastic with them. I yeah, think I'll be buried Sometimes I cut metal style. with them. Do you? Just, yeah, just when I don't have funsies. time to file some, or find something else. Yeah, just yeah. go grinding yeah. on it. No. So, guys, remember, we can't really read your comments because we're looking at a screen that's this big. So, so hopefully you're chatting amongst yeah, yourselves. Yeah, chat amongst yourselves, too. Yeah. 
Okay. So, above any other files, these are the ones I use the most around. What the about? So, the funny thing about like expensive nut slotting files is if you're going to get into building guitars or repairing guitars, how quick will a set of these files pay for themselves? Pretty fast. Pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, like putting a nut on is fifty yeah. bucks. I think as what well, I don't know what, what guys it might even be more that. than that. It's regional, but yeah. yeah. And uh, I think if you buy halfway decent stuff to start with, you'll have it probably pretty much forever. It's or, not going to decide you want something else. Yeah, you'll but... lose it before <laughs> that you that you break one. Don't you have several of the same exact file because of that? Probably, yeah. Because <laughs> I'll lose them. Yeah. This for some reason or other, this one is this another Stumac file and it's really not specific for anything but it's got a super coarse side and a fine side i really like this file is that the one that doesn't have anything on the edge yeah it might be smooth yeah, that's nice on one it's face on both faces and then i've got i've got a, another version of that same file which is fine and extra fine which this i don't i don't i don't really use this for very much but i like that one mm -hmm. um this one sometimes um yeah. How about some, and then there, there's some of these files are just kind of basic files that I got from Stumac. Like there was a sale. Hey, we have these new files. If you want to buy them there, it wasn't very much. And there was a, like five or six of them. Here's three. And they're, they're okay. They're just files. I don't, I don't know. Um, ooh, talk about these guys. What? Oh, these are cool. Yeah. So there's a couple different sizes of these. This is the three sixteenths, but this is a really cool, uh, the cutting surface isn't here, it's only on the edge. So it's really good for um, cutting spaces for nuts. Yeah, cleaning, cleaning out the out nut, nut slot nut or slots. shelf. We have one that's uh, an eighth inch for fender style nuts. And then we have this one that does really well for, for wider stuff. Um, because it doesn't have a cutting surface on this side, you can you know, <laughs> lay it up against your, your thing. And, and so cut, yeah, it and won't make it really, really flat, and so that your nut sits really flat, and which, really is a, which is a critical thing. Yeah, really the, other, critical. the other thing is, is yeah, like Chris was pointing out, you won't grind your fretboard back, so your intonation won't be off if you do a when you when you yeah. replace when you yeah. place a nut on your friend's beloved uh, Les Paul custom. Yeah, and they're heavy. And I haven't solid. done that. And they're really flat and really square, and they yeah. do a really good job because they and they cut really fast. That's one thing that I've noticed about all these Stumac files versus some cheaper files that mm -hmm. I've bought in the past or that I've used is that all this stuff is a step above as far as how well they cut. And it's specific for the task mm -hmm. sometimes. Like yeah. like I was saying, there's some of these that are just kind of regular files. Yeah. But some are specific for guitar building, and they really do work really well. And the, well. the ones that are specific for guitar building really do work well for that specific task. Yeah. I, well, that, that eighth-inch one, uh -huh. I could do it with, with uh, my own beloved file. but We're going to get to that. Yeah, but you know that, that eighth-inch one, I have needle files that I've done that exact same task with, and it was way worse. Yeah, getting a needle file in there is really tricky, yeah. and it's well, I'm it's trying to get it to, to run yeah. square. Yeah. So, yeah. although that's not to say you can't screw it up with one of these either. That or that you can't do it with a needle file. You can correct. You can yeah. do it well with the wrong tool or yeah, wrong with the There's right. There's still tool. a learning curve on all of these yeah. too. Yeah. So. So uh, there's some other files here that we're going to talk a little bit about. Um, why don't you, can you talk about those, and I'll talk about these. I use these so rarely. So these are fret. Well, but crowning you use stuff files. like that. Yeah. I think the Z is over here. Okay. These are fret crowning files, and they've got a uh, a cutting surface down the middle that's uh, shaped like a fret. It's got a little uh, crown. So you 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 grind your frets flat with a block, and then you can. Do this back and forth on them and put that round back into them so you level and then that's a dressing file yes? correct yeah, yeah yeah so leveling dress a lot and of big dressing. words level and dress uh-huh so uh john sullivan at sully guitars claims that this is the file he likes to use most for leveling and dressing the other thing to keep in mind is that if you're having to use any file to do dressing like a lot of dressing you got big problems on your fretboard if it's brand new. When you're building your own guitar, you shouldn't have a whole lot of leveling and dressing to do. No. But this three-corner file has the, the corners or the 
yeah, the, the actual corners are are smooth, so you can round over the fret kind of by hand with this guy. Um, like I say, I, I got this, and I'm like, oh, I better have that because Dan Erlewine says I need to have it. And uh, I don't know. I use it every so often. I've seen guys use um, needle files similar to this uh -huh. and do the same thing. And that's that's kind of that old school. The Z know. file, wherever it is, yeah, and the is Z the file hot is ticket. this on steroids. And it, so yeah, the Z file has essentially replaced. I'll find it. I think it might be on the table. Has has effectively replaced this, which is a a a, a file that actually has file uh, uh, lines. This one here is a diamond cut file lines. It's 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 got cutting surface like a file. It only goes one way. Whereas this this abrasive one has a diamond thing, it goes both ways. Um, and then there's this dude, which has that we already talked about, which has the three cutting surfaces. These all have been eclipsed by the Z file, and I've so much so that I've done a video exclusively on working with the Z file and why I love the Z file. Um, it's okay, Chris. I think we though the guys know, right? Well, we can look it up. Now, this little file here is one that I also bought because Dan Erlewine said I needed it. And I use this quite a bit, actually. And what this does is helps round over those, those the, the ends of frets. You can really get in there and kind of break those pointy bits off with this little teeny tiny file. Um, this is a good tool to have, you guys. If you were going to get a Z file and this, you should be set for level and dressing. Yeah? Yep, sounds right to me. Okay, one last thing is um, you need to maintain your files and you will do that with a file card. And what this does is just sort of gets rid of the funky, greasy kid stuff out of your file that you get into the file by filing. So, you know, if you've got like wood or cooties in there you can you can take the file card and get rid of that shit mostly by scraping it back and forth and it gets rid of that stuff so okay do you adhere to the there's one correct direction to use a file and to only use it that direction okay i think what you mean is do files only cut one way well am i i'm asking uh no that's not necessarily the question <laughs> yeah. the question is Will you mess it up by pulling it the other direction or pushing it the other direction? Yeah, okay, yeah, I was wondering what you meant. So, because we know somebody, I know a couple people that are like, if you're going back and yeah. forth, you're wearing the file out. I don't necessarily subscribe to the notion that if you pull a file, okay, so let's back up. Every file has one direction that it actually cuts. So this. This bastard file only cuts going this way. It's like Star Wars. Um, so, but but do you do you ruin the file by pulling it back this way? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Either. You know, a saw only cuts one way, but you don't push the saw blade through, pick it back up, and put take it out, put it back in the saw cut, and push it through. You know what I mean? Well, I do that. <laughs> do you? Have you seen my uh, saw? Uh, it's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> so, so yes, a file only cuts one way, but the whole notion of you're going to ruin a file by tugging it back across the other way, I think, is, is balderdash. What do you think? I think so, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can, I can already see the comment section blowing up. I'm a machinist. I've been a machinist right. for 55 years, and there's only, fine, fine, fine. I've made marks and stuff. That I didn't, I by by lifting, mm -hmm. you know, cutting and lifting, mm -hmm. and and damage things more than I've damaged them going back and forth with a file. Yeah, if that makes any sense. I think it's hard to put the same pressure on the pull stroke as it is on the push stroke too. Yeah, when you're when you're really wrenching on something. Mm -hmm. And there's times where I'll just use it one direction, the cutting direction. Mm -hmm. But I, there's some tools that we have like that that fret. Um, angle tool. Yeah, it's that's where I I made made a mess is trying to just yeah go one way, pull it off, bring it back, and I and that file won't the... last forever because it gets so much use. But yeah. like this, I would love to see the guy 
who can wreck this rasp by dragging it the opposite direction from the cutting direction on maple. Challenge accepted. I would love to see the guy who can do that. Yeah. That takes, yeah, that that's, yeah, in in one lifetime. Maybe that tool's so worn out now you don't even realize it because it's it's gone so it slowly. It could very well be, yeah. Probably, yeah. It's probably not. It seems really good still. All right, so let's talk about some of our favorite files. You let's talk to... about your favorite file because yours is kind of the start of the favorite file collection. <laughs> Did, really? Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. So my favorite file is a double cut file that I cut the, I cut the little tail off whoa shit whoa crap so my my favorite file used to have a little tail like that and i cut it off and i don't know why i did i have no idea why i did it but all of a sudden this became my favorite file and it even got a name i named it after um that frank zappa song moving to montana where he has a horse that's about this big and he's gonna ride it all across the borderline and um the background singers say the name of the horse and, it, and the name of the horse is Mighty Little. So I have named my favorite file Mighty Little. And Chris, are you to touch Mighty Little? Nobody is to touch is Mighty Little. Is anybody to touch Mighty Little? No. Everybody does, but nobody is too, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I all because If I, you can find it. If you can find Mighty Little, that's... <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to not use it, <laughs> yes. but you probably won't be able to find it. And it's best to just say... You know, as soon as Matt starts screaming, yeah. where's my file? Where's Mighty Little? Where's you Mighty go, Little? I don't know where it went because yeah. Yeah. nobody else but you is allowed to use it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then he shuts up. Yeah. And then he finds it where I put it. <laughs> and then we're all fine. No, but you, you, you've you used this I've before. Used it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just a, it's a regular a file. file. Yeah, yeah, it's really just a, yeah. I think it's grown in our, le in our, our tribal lore more than anything as something that I really like. Mm-hmm. Well, I, sometimes you just need a tool that you know exactly how to use, and, yeah. and mighty little is that tool. I think this is this is predominantly used for filing side dots level with the board. Now I, it mm -hmm. does lots of other stuff, but yeah, for the most part, it's kind of a I don't know. It's just a little file. I cut the thing off, and I get all bent out of shape when I don't know where it is. Eighth inch of plastic. <laughs> Files a 16th inch high piece of 8th inch round plastic. 330 seconds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, so this is my favorite file, uh, and we call it Mighty Little, and you can't touch it. Okay, what do you got, Chris? Well, so this is my favorite file. Uh-huh. I don't even know what kind of file this is. It's a single cut file. Uh-huh. And it's this one. And I think I found it in somebody's grass. <laughs> Probably to like they a were long, doing long lawnmower time ago. blade or something. Yeah, and I, I've actually I have sharpened a lawnmower blade with this a couple mm -hmm. of times, and uh, yeah, I've done a lot of stuff with this. I've done, you know, you have your your beveling tool. Yeah, this is my beveling tool or was my beveling okay. tool, and it worked really well because it's so big, and so as soon as Matt got mighty little, I had to have my own special file. <laughs> and what'd you come up? And with? his name is. Big Jim Filey. Big Jim Filey. <laughs> because he's so big. He's a linebacker for the 1978 Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, and Big that... Jim, yeah, is, is <laughs> oftentimes the right, the right file. <laughs> Just Big Jim Filey sounds for... like a like a Pittsburgh Steeler. Yeah, or a... yeah, for the for you know, because he's got he's got a nice feel. He's got a nice balance. <laughs> Wasn't he in a movie with Lee Marvin? Yeah, Big Jim Filey. <laughs> No, Lee Marvin was Big Jim oh, Filey. Lee movie. Marvin as Big as Jim, Jim Filey. Filey. <laughs> yeah, I wrote a song about him. Did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wasn't Carl Weathers Big Jim Filey in a movie? <laughs> yeah. 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 That was back when, like, when, back in the 70s, like, when football players, like, had names, like, Ed Two Tall Jones. Yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Dick Butkus. Yeah. Big Jim Filey. Big Jim, and so on. Uh -huh. Lyle Alzado, mm -hmm. Big Jim Filey. I think those guys were the the the, the wrecking crew for... Mm -hmm. Was Lyle Alzado with the Pittsburgh Steelers? No, he was with the Broncos, and then he was with the Raiders. Oh, oh, he was the Bronco? Yeah, he started out with oh, the okay. Broncos. Huh, well, there you go. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed our reveal video on um, on Files and the cool files that you ought to have and some of the ones that we use. Um, I want to say, 
if you don't have a favorite file, you should get one. You should, yeah, get a file and make that your number one file for a little while and see yeah. how many jobs you can use mm -hmm. that file for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done wood, I've done metal, I've done all sorts of stuff. Fairly intricate, mm -hmm. not intricate at all. <laughs> I've seen you cut bread and butter toast with it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love to cut chicken with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it works for everything. It's the one true and holy file. Yep, you should definitely have your own one true and holy file. <clears throat> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, I think I, I liked it. I think we should do more. This was fun. Yeah, it was fun. What else are you going to do? On, on these a day like this leave me some comments in the section below about what you guys are up to now that the world is completely on its nose and we don't know what to expect next somebody said that they were gonna they were gonna be mandatory quarantine in Here denver, in denver yeah. and i'm like well who'd you hear that from and he didn't say the governor or some you know colonel in the national guard he was just one of his friends so i don't know what we're doing mm -hmm. and that guy didn't know either two guys on the internet two guys on the internet and if one of them happen. like if some now if, we're two guys on the internet yeah. let's let's discredit we that oh well let's we how about this we don't know that that's we going have to happen no idea yeah there you go we are not a colonel in the the colorado nope. national guard and we don't know so somebody could say no i saw a couple guys they they uh, they, they said, said no they said they don't think so that's right that's right we haven't heard I, would you would you think that the governor or uh, like a lieutenant colonel in the Colorado mm -hmm. National Guard would probably be good people to look for for that information? Yeah, I would. I think we know the only neither person, one of those guys. Not the only but, person that I'm gonna gonna listen to is the governor. I guess he has the juice. He's, well, he's gonna yeah. be the one that says it. That yeah. says you have yeah. to do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, so until then, and even if you do, I guess you can you know go get. Go get groceries and beer. Hey, Joseph sent us five bucks. He says, Arg, I almost missed it. Dude, don't worry. You can watch it later. You can watch it later. Wow, this is 27 minutes, dude. Mm. So, so guys, let me know what you're up to, and um, let's talk more about it on Sunday. We can talk about quarantine and fun stuff to do while you're quarantined. Yeah, if anybody's taking up any new hobbies, any, any quarantine resolutions. Yeah. <laughs> Are you quarantine shaming anyone? Uh, Stuff I'm like not, that? No. no, I mean like if anyone else is. Oh. I'm quarantining. I can't believe you're not. Yeah. And so on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How quarantined can you be? How, yeah. how, yeah. Quarantined AF. Mm -hmm. Let's get those shirts made. That'd be, <laughs> I'm not making those shirts. I'm not doing that. That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like I haven't even I haven't even seen another real person yeah. for over a week. Yeah. That's how quarantined I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't left my bedroom in a month. <laughs> I haven't gotten out of bed. Yeah. There must I'm be the, a lot of number ones and number twos. I'm the see? best quarantiner ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so let's wrap this one up. I think this is more than enough on Getting files punchy. and quarantining. Um maybe we should do another video tomorrow. Yeah, we can see what's going on. Okay, yeah. let's try that. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I hope that you've been enjoying the daily videos that I've been doing. It's a lot of work. I don't know how long I can keep it up. Um, but I've got more in the pipeline, so we're going to keep it going for a little while. Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks, Joseph, for giving us some quarantine money. And, uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll see you Sunday. Take care and enjoy your, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. We'll talk more about it. If you don't have a super cool file... Off you go then. This is essential gear. I essential think you can gear. go and get one of these and call it essential gear. So. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks we'll for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. See ya.